Hi guys, it's Angie. I'm a little late getting started this morning. It's after 8. It's about 10 minutes after 8. So, um, let's go. <laughs> down a little bit. before it gets too hot. Alexa says it's going to be 99 degrees today. So we want to get out here and do our thing and then get back. yesterday and I talked about uh, different things that um, I'm fearful of and I just want to go back to that because I really didn't get to put out you know as much information as I had inside me because I kept getting sidetracked Oh darn it, I'm not wearing my pedometer. That just goes to show that I really wasn't planning on getting out here today. Uh, I got up this morning. Well, I'm gonna tell you, I don't think that the five o'clock in the morning is working for me because I'm still sleepy, but here's the problem. I'm going to bed at one, two o'clock in the morning and I'm not falling asleep until maybe 30 minutes to an hour later. And so, you know, I get into a deep sleep and, you know, before I know it, it's time to wake up. So I've got to figure out a good time for me to wake up in the mornings so I can do this walk. But it needs to be 
early. Not so early. Not so early that the coyotes are still out looking for food. But uh, it definitely needs to be early enough where it's not still hot out here. Well, it hasn't gotten hot yet. So, that's my thing. So, we were talking about fear uh, yesterday. I was mentioning that I had all of these fears. And, well, I'm going to just say it. All of these mass shootings, uh, they scare me. They're not, well, they are close to home. That's the problem. I don't know, you know, who's at the Walmart waiting to shoot somebody. You know, who's going to get on the bus and shoot somebody, you know, or who's going to walk down the street shooting people. Uh, I'm afraid of all of that. So when I'm walking, I'm afraid somebody's going to hurt me. And I don't have a high tolerance for pain. You know, I'm just uh, minding my own business. And, uh, you know, trying to get my... Oh my Lord, there's all kind of horns blowing all over the place. These people don't want to go to work this morning, huh? <laughs> They're out here angry. Which is another reason why I should be uh, walking earlier in the mornings. Um, you know, I, I, I've got the thing I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of being out here in the heat. I'm afraid of somebody deciding they want to kill me. I'm afraid of somebody wanting to hurt me. I'm afraid of bumping into somebody who doesn't like black people. Well, I don't bump into people. Uh, I make it a, a strong effort not to touch other people. It's just not my thing. I don't like being touched and I don't want anybody to touch me. I mean, and I don't want to touch anybody. So, I don't have an issue with that. Now, as you know, I don't, I don't go to the grocery store. I don't go shopping. Uh, I'm just uncomfortable in public. And this is not something that I've had all my life. Um, you know, and I have to say, that when I first, when I first moved out here, I was all over the place. I was looking for some place to go and I jump on the, well, at the time I had a car. But either the car 
or or the uh, or the bus. I was always looking for some place to go, and sure enough, I always went somewhere. I was going to 7-Eleven all the time, and you guys know that's just a bus ride away. Uh, I would, uh, uh, I would walk to the little uh, junior market, um, and that's not too far away. That's about a 0.7 miles away. And 7-Eleven, the other 7-Eleven, good morning. The other 7-Eleven, which is on Devonshire, uh, that one, is about 0.7 miles away. Actually, all of the businesses, because they put this base in the middle of a residential zoning area. So we're in the middle of schools and private homes. And so, you know, we have to either walk or take the bus to, you know, places of business. For example, uh, on days that the base is not open because we do have the canteen. Now, the canteen um well they don't sell alcoholic beverages they don't sell cigarettes and let's see what else well alcoholic beverages and cigarettes we're gonna just leave those two because those are two things that i know people in my building want. Now I don't, I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't, good morning. I don't, uh, I don't drink, you know, liquor. I drink wine occasionally, but uh, I don't, you know, it's not like I have to get up and walk to the liquor store every day. There is a, a man in my building who does that. He makes a big deal of it too. But anyway, uh, yeah, he walks down to the liquor store or the junior market. They call it a junior market, but it's a liquor store. <laughs> so yeah, they, uh, I mean, he walks down there every day and um let's see look at these people oh lord have mercy i don't know how they make it every day in life taking risks like that uh, uh, well, I was looking at my shadow. Next sunlight I get in, I'm gonna show you guys. I laugh at the way my hair looks under my hat. <laughs> I don't like the way it looks. Oh, we got some sun coming up. But anyway, uh, going back to my fears, uh, I'm afraid that I'm going to be attacked by coyotes, which is 
I think you guys know this, why I don't stay on base anymore. I don't walk on base because I'm afraid of the coyotes. And, you know, from time to time, I'll take a shortcut through the base, but I don't, uh, I don't necessarily walk on the base because of that fear. Okay, we're coming up on a clearing here. All right, so take a look at my... Hi guys, I'm showing you my shadow here and it didn't occur to me that you wouldn't be able to see it. So I apologize for that. Um, we'll just continue on with me talking about my hat. And I got it. I got it. Uh, I got it pulled down the front of it because the sun was in my eye. Well, I could turn it around now because no more sun. But I like it down. Okay, so we got coyotes on the inside. We got crazy Korean lady. I haven't forgotten about her. We got, uh, we got white males in their 30s and 40s running around shooting people. Well, let's say not 30s and 40s. Let's keep it real because they start in high school. So we got white males from high school age to say 40 years old, being upset at the world and shooting people. Uh, we got white supremacists who brought me here, well not me personally, but brought my people here and in my opinion they brought us here to kill us. Well I have to stop again. This time it's going to be in shade though. I'm sorry I'm so quiet. Can't believe I'm almost home again. And what I have to do today, man. <laughs> uh, you know, rent was due on the first and I always have to wait until the third. And then I have to transfer funds from my social security account over to my bank account so that I can write a check for my rent. It's a big hassle. But I don't want to take anything for granted because you never know when, you know, something could end. And you gotta be mindful of that. You really gotta pay attention to, you know, what's going on in your life and, you know, the, your sources or streams of income. I don't have streams. Um, you know, I, I watch a program called Basketball Wives. And, uh, we'll stop right here again. So in Basketball Wives, 
there's a lady, Tammy Roman, and um, she's got multiple streams of income. She wears a lot of hats. She does a lot of things. You know, she's on television shows. She's, uh, she's got a, an alter ego that wraps. She's got uh, other things. Let's wait until all these cars get by because this will take forever. But I, I like to be out of the way of cars. I don't want them waiting for me. Yeah, I don't really want to wait for them. So, anyway, I want to be like her. I only have one source of income. But I want to have, be nice to have about five. My daughter has three. She has three? No, I think she only has two now. Um, because she was, she was driving for Uber. And uh, she stopped doing that. I started off walking fast. I said, well, let me hurry and get this walk over with. And it hadn't even occurred to me that, hey, you're not going to be able to talk if you're walking so fast. I keep stopping. I guess I'm not getting enough, uh, what do you call it? Oxygen, air. So I'm down to 193, guys. Remember I told you I was at 207. So that's a good thing. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that now that I've started walking more consistently that the weight will come off uh, more evenly. I remember this time last year with all of the walking I was doing, I was losing weight every day. Every day I would step on the scale and I'd be, you know, a couple pounds lighter. So that's my goal. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, there's four months left in the year, which uh, well, including this one. So um, Hopefully by February, I'll be back down to 170 and uh, 176. And I don't stop walking, hopefully. Oh, there's the guy with the flags. I told you they put out the flags for holidays and such and uh, He's going around picking them up, I guess. All right, let's go in. Can you guys see me in the window? That's my, my jacket. I have my jacket wrapped around me because, you know, I told you I don't like to show my booty.
Okay, guys. So, day two. And uh, we did a walk. So, let's bring day three on. I still got to come up with an idea on uh, my walking, uh, changing the time. So, in the comments below, if you guys should let me some, know some ideas that you may have for my new walking schedule, uh, let me know because it definitely will help me to be more consistent in my uh, walk. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.